Sup homies, my name is Laura Holly and this is Pedagogo Reviews, reviewing albums and EPs from popular, less known and independent artists. And today I will be reviewing the War EP from Josh Record, which was released on the 27th of June this year through Virgin Records Limited. Josh Record is a singer-songwriter from Brixton, London, who, from the sounds of things, is a very kind and gentle soul. It was his first EP, Bones, that got him placed as Band of the Day on The Guardian Online, and probably conjured up a few fans along the way with its Bon esque choral, soft sound. And it was then his latest EP, The War, that recently got him a spot as Hugh Stevens' Big Thing on Radio 1. So why all the fuss? Could it be his mellow music sending everyone into a trance of love and happiness? Or is it his seemingly delightful and saint-like personality? Let's have a gander. <coughs> this EP is very uncomplicated. For the majority of the time it is just guitar and the main vocal and then a lot of harmonies. Josh has a really nice pleasant voice and it also sounds kind of raw as in the vocals mainly you can you can hear the quiver in the notes like it hasn't really been mixed. Sometimes it goes a little tiny tiny bit out of tune not so much that you're like Ugh, just like enough to make you think that it, it might have been recorded in one take and also the songs there are four tracks and they just kind of drift by very merrily and easily <laughs> The songs didn't really grab me in any way. As I just mentioned, they drift by merrily as kind of in one ear and out of the other. I haven't really made the effort to go back and listen to them again. And also there's a lot of reverb on the songs and I think that takes away the potential warmth. And with that said, which tracks would I play, skip, repeat? I would play Common Folly because I like the chorus, I think the lyrics are cute, it makes me want to nod my head with a grin, and also I like the sound of shakers, like small ones, and this has a shaker in it, so... I would skip House because not a lot happens in it and it's not very memorable. I can remember at least one thing from each track on the EP apart from this one, so... And I would repeat The War because it's a good song. It has the most going on in it. The beginning reminds me of Elbows, The Night Will Always Win. It goes into the chorus pretty nicely and it has an interesting ending. So the War EP from Josh Record is merely okay. I wouldn't say there's anything particularly special about it, more Josh himself. However, the EP is only £2.49 on iTunes, I think, and it's good for like background music as I say at a dinner party or if you're reading and also I would imagine that Josh Record is a an artist whose performance does him more justice than the recording so if you would like to go and see him then click on the link to his official website which I posted below and have a look at all the gig links coming up and also if you feel like stalking him then you can click on the official link to his Twitter and YouTube channel. As always thank you very much for watching folks if you'd like to see more reviews then go to the Pedagogo music channel or to keep up to date with the latest Pedagogo reviews just subscribe and remember if you have any review requests or music recommendations for me then feel free to leave a comment send me a message or tweet me at Pedagogo Music. The next review will be for a chap called James Young and his mixtape slash album slash project Dark Star, which is available on SoundCloud as a free download. So I'll put that link below if you want to go and give it a listen and uh, enjoy it and be safe and cool. Cause baby I'm a dark star, dark star. Oh.